folks welcome to my channel way of the redneck today we're going to be doing a hawaiian rib but i'm going to do these spare ribs for a buddy of mine he called me and wanted them done so what these spare ribs are is they're a honey mustard i rubbed them down with honey mustard and then i put a pork barrel seasoning on them which we buy here locally and it's a good seasoning so let's get all this started and i'll show you how i get it done Okay, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, country ribs and we're just going to crust them a little bit. I don't want to cook them because I'm going to cook them in pineapple, fresh pineapple juice, apple juice, a barbecue sauce, and fresh pineapple that I'm going to cut up here in just a minute. Then the once that I get them crusted, I'll take and put them back in the aluminum pans and I'll cover them with foil and cook them very slowly and they fall apart and tender and we're going to serve them over a white rice. It'll be great. I'll show you how we get her done. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just barely start cooking them and, and get a good crust built on them and then I'll move them around and move them to side to side and then I'll finish everything out in these pans. With these pans I'm not going to use, I'm going to use new ones so don't have to worry about that. Okay folks, what I'm doing here now is I'm getting these and I'm just charring them because I want that little bit of char on them and I'm moving them off the fire to the side and then they'll be put in the aluminum pans and, and finished on the grill after a while. But all I'm doing here is charring them. We got some kind of exciting news coming up. Uh, I was approached to write a cookbook. So I'm going to do a Way of the Redneck cookbook and it'll be available soon. So that's a new project I'm going to be starting on. Remember me telling you folks about Herbie and how when I lit the smoker, he laid right beside it. There he is right there on the ground, waiting. Waiting for his yeah, share. Crazy damn dog. What's matter, Herbie? You don't like my camera? You had a practice cook? Yes. I've been cooking inside for a while, so I kind of got out of practice. But I'm really thankful that, you know, spring's on its way. I can get out here and do a lot of different things out here. So build us a big old campfire and cook us some stew or something in the campfire. what you're going to do for your wife for Valentine's Day. Well, I know what I'm going to do for mine. I'm going to buy her some lures to paint. Maybe. How sweet. <laughs> well, this Valentine's Day is going to be different for me. I'm actually not going to cook for my wife this year. We're actually going to go out to dinner. We're going to go to a place called Guadalajara. Don't let me know in the comments below what you got planned. That's kind of what I got planned is buy her some blank fishing lures and take her to dinner. So, get me a bird, folks. Mm -hmm. A feather. Oh, it was a feather. It wasn't a bird. It was just a feather. Now we're the whole bird. says that now but she'd sure miss me around such a time. So we'll have four big trays of my Hawaiian ribs and then we're gonna have these spare ribs I'm gonna do for for my buddy Greg. Uh, we'll let them cook a couple hours at a low temperature and then we'll wrap them in full and we'll do a pineapple barbecue sauce on them. And then we'll deliver them to him later. And we're going to take one pan and we're going to go to my brother's and this dish I designed it to be served over white rice and uh, it'll be very good and we'll take a picture when we get there and put it on the on the film too 
But his, his daughter's in town this weekend, so I said, you spend time with your daughter and I'll cook you dinner. So now these have slowed up their cook a little bit and that's what I needed for them to slow up. Today, folks, we're cooking with pecan wood, which I'm about out, so I got to go find me a pecan tree somewhere. We got a buddy down in Texas that has a big hunting ranch, and he said, Charlie, so why don't you and Terry come down for a few days and you can cut all the oak and fruit wood you want off my ranch. So I'm on my way, buddy, here shortly. While I'm there, I may shoot me a hog. So don't tell my wife, though, because I'll just put it on the credit card and tell her it was gas or something. Well, let me ask you this, folks. Uh, would y'all like to see a complete hog cook? I actually have me a motor and I'm building me a, it runs off a motor onto a sprocket and it's a chain driven sprocket and it's a big basket and you put a whole hog in it and it turns very slowly. Would y'all like to see a cook like that? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share to my channel. We're growing and we're happy about that. So let's get on this. Okay folks. This is what we're gonna finish our sauce with. We're gonna be using uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar, which if you have never tried this, folks, it's very, very good sauce. We're gonna have uh, 1.5 cups of pineapple juice and one cup of apple juice. It's gonna be a very simple sauce and we're gonna finish it. And when I put them in the aluminum pans and I put foil over the top of them, it's actually gonna steam the ribs and they're going to be just as tender as can be so what we're going to do now is uh you can use canned pineapple in this recipe but i'm not going to i like fresh it just gives it an extra good taste to it so we're going to clean these pineapples down which you probably don't want to watch me do this part so bottom off and if i break mama's plate i'm going to be dead man for sure cut the top piece off I see you and then just set your pineapple up and you just skin right down the sides just like this right there just cut right down the sides and you'll get a piece off just like that right there and you just spin it right down the next side You know, there's lots of different ways that people do it, but this is my way. So, now this recipe we're doing today, folks, I have never seen anybody else do. And I hope that other people are willing to try this recipe because uh, my wife can attest how good it is. It's very, very good. Folks, you could actually do this in the oven if you wanted to, but not me. I like my smoked meats. Okay, so we've got that pineapple cleaned down. That didn't take just, just a second. But very simple to do. You know, wipe some of that old outer rough part of that pineapple off. And uh, we're just going to take that pineapple now and just start slicing it, folks. When you get to that center, just turn it, slice them on. Just like that right there. Slice, 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 and just keep flipping it. You'll get to that core in a minute, and that core is not good to eat. It tastes pretty bad. Believe me, I've tried it. 
You know, what What possesses a man's mind is stand and say, oh, I want to try the eat the core out of a pineapple. You know, I don't never know. Maybe too much beer. Maybe done went nuts. There you go, folks. That's the finished piece. That's the core of the pineapple. And there is the actual pineapple right out there on the plate. So we got one more to do. And then I'll get out there and get everything put in the aluminum pans and show you how to get it done. Okay, folks, so this is how I do my pineapple ribs. I just take my pineapple and I just lay it out in the bottom of my pan. Nothing fancy. I'm not fancy to it. So just lay it out in there. Something like that. And we're going to take a cup of apple juice. One cup of apple juice. Pour that in there. And then we're going to put a cup and a half of pineapple juice in there on top of it. Uh, I need to do a shout out. Daniel, happy birthday. Sucks getting old, don't it, son? He's 31. He's 31 years old. Okay. And that, folks, is the start of my pineapple ribs. And then I take the sweet baby Ray. And just do that right there. Cover it with foil. Put it back on the grill. And let her cook. Let me get some fall get on that and then I'll get right back and get the rest of them done. Do they not? Okay folks, it's been a couple hours and uh these have been steaming in these pans, so uh I'm gonna open this up and uh show you what we're working with and we still got another hour to go on them so here they are right here they'll be fall apart tender here in a little bit okay folks it's been another hour everything is done it's time to show you what I got here and folks, if you've never tried this recipe, and I've never seen this recipe anywhere, and I watch all kinds of cooking shows, you have got to absolutely try this recipe of mine. There we go, folks. That is our final product. Cooked in our pineapple. Just look how tender that is, folks. Look at that. Yeah, you can see it just falls apart. Look at there. It's going to be very good. It's going to be very tasty. And we're ready to eat it. So remember, folks, to like, subscribe, and share my channel. And uh, let me know what's cooking in your kitchen. When I start my cooker up, there's uh, people come out to woodwork and the neighbor run by a while ago and he said, Charlie, I need a pork butt for tomorrow for the Super Bowl. I said, okay. So what I've done here, folks, is he brought me the pork butt and I uh, rubbed it down with honey mustard and then I put a pork barrel spice on it, which is a very good spice and I'm gonna let it cook all night. I will come out here during the night, put firewood on the smoker and I'll inject it with apple juice and vinegar. So, pretty simple little cook. Video at hand. Yeah. Okay, folks.
けど。